What's up dudes, Max here. Pretty important day. We're on the cusp of Tokyo Game Show, which is going to be happening pretty soon this week. There's a lot of stuff from Capcom that's most likely going to be taking place. They have more stuff that they're announcing that I was anticipating that they would have until whatever next generation starts. But um, it's also another important day. It's the Dreamcast's damn 20th birthday. My favorite console of all time, home to some of the greatest games of all time in my personal opinion. And we had a really good time firing up some Dreamcast games last night with the entire Yo Video Games crew. Might put that into a little compilation, but um, today is even more crazy because there's another Resident Evil game on the horizon. We, I don't think this is a full trailer for what it exactly is, but I don't even know what it technically is. And my initial presumption was that this was going to be Outbreak of some kind, that this Resident Evil revival project, whatever the heck they're calling it, was going to end up being something very close to an online multiplayer experience. And it was my assumption as well that it was going to be a tack on to Resident Evil 2 because they didn't end up doing any DLC for Resident Evil 2 technically. So I'm shocked by that. RE2 was such a huge success and everyone loved it for the most part. I would think that they would do something. And I've always wanted to see Resident Evil executed well in a multiplayer environment, but I just don't think it hasn't been done super well as of yet. And that is presumably what this is. I don't know how good it's going to be, because I'm pretty sure this is still just a teaser. But at least we get an idea of what the hell they're actually planning, because there's been quite a few attempts to take Resident Evil online. And I think the only one that they ever had a little bit of success was the first few, which was the Outbreak series with Outbreak 1 and 2. So let's take a look at this. Uh, Resident Evil going online and being a game that I can consistently come back to and have a lot of fun playing with people in an online environment sounds amazing. And I just hope that it could be amazing. Let's take a look. Is this Wesker? Those are some generic ass looking Left 4 Dead characters. So wait a minute, is there a, like a person manipulating everything? To mess with it? It looks like this is supposed to be Wesker. He's got like black gloves on and everything, dude. Yeah, these were definitely from uh, the leaked images. <laughs> Send the liquors. It, okay, it's absolutely giving me extremely, extremely similar to Outbreak vibes. Just like regular people. Setting traps and like working together. Wait, what? Wait, what? He's controlling? Oh, so there absolutely is. It's absolutely one person is... Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm a little bit more excited than what I was before. It's like one person is the, the, the puppet master, like the manipulator, the guy behind the scenes, like, like completely screwing with every single person. Um, and that seems exciting. It's very... Dead by death light, light by daylight, dead by light light. Uh, you know, J Jason and characters running around trying to kill you. I don't think it looks, I don't think it looks bad. This is just a CG cutscene, but just the thought of like, potentially playing a game that is Resident Evil 2 mechanics, but now you can do more stuff, cooperative stuff with players. It's about working together to take down this bigger goal, which is literally somebody trying to mess with you. Um, that does seem exciting. Like, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I want I want to love this, but I don't think there's enough in this trailer for us to pull an accurate amount of information, um, especially considering we don't know what the hell it's called. It's literally still in project name. It, everyone's like, wait a minute, this is what we already know. Well, what we already know was technically leaked from a few days back. Uh, they even addressed it and they acknowledged it on Twitter, the guys that are the producers of the game. So that's why I wanted to talk about it. It's like, wow, something Resident Evil is happening. This isn't even the announcement. This is just a teaser of what they're going to show at Tokyo Game Show, which is going to be later this week. And I really, really, really hope it's fun. Like, I just... I don't know when the heck they're planning on bringing this out, but it definitely is coming out on everything, which is nice. It's going to come out on hopefully something with crossplay because that'll be super important. My God, man. I, I only hope that that becomes a more of a normality as we get further and further into the end of this generation, the beginning of the next generation. 
Um, it's my hope that it isn't just that game mode. It is my hope that when you play a character and you oc occupy that character, let us customize the characters for God's sake. Like, I don't want to play generic goth raver girl or jock guy. Like, let us pick our characters. I don't think we need them to be left for dead style because those characters already have a ton of personality. These are my hopes and dreams right now of what this game could be. Let us choose our own characters. Let us run around, work together. Um, hopefully have communication of some kind and like Outbreak, which was very limited. And that could be a lot of fun, but I hope there's a bunch of other game modes. I don't, I don't want it just to be, yo, one guy pilot doing this the whole time, trying to mess with everybody. Even though that sounds like it could be fun for a while. I think having a variety of stuff that you can do with each other and goals and objectives that you can tackle would be cool because one of the best things about Resident Evil 5, 6, uh, especially was the fact that it was co-op, is the fact that you can work together and do stuff. It was one of the biggest redeeming factors of Resident Evil 6, in my opinion. Um, other than it's really good combat mechanics. And RE5, it made that game. I have never played RE5 without co-op. So if I could, if you could let us actually pick everyone in your video games and we all hook up our systems in this same room, and we go online and we're going to try to fight someone controlling tyrants and shit, I'm really excited about that. I'm really excited about that. I'm Things are running through my head and I have to stop right now because I'm going to keep blabbering on and I'm probably going to repeat myself, but this has me interested. I'm not completely sold yet, and I am very much looking forward to Tokyo Game Show, because holy shit, it might get a little crazy.